it's Riley from Riley Knows It All, and it is also National Rubber Eraser Day today. So that is why I'm going to show you some of my favorite erasers from my eraser collection because I collect erasers. I think I have like 289 now, so um, yeah, I have a lot. Plus, you're going to learn some cool facts about erasers in general because all erasers are rubber, I would assume. So let's get started. I'm going to show you my favorite erasers. Alrighty, first, this alien dude. Believe it or not, he weighs a ton, and he's from the Disney store because he's one of those Toy Story aliens. Blah, 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 blah. So there's my alien dude. He's my newest one. I just got him in like... Okay, so I guess he isn't my newest, but he's pretty new. I got him a few months ago. Next, we have this one. Woohoo! Look at this. Alrighty, it's the Dylan's Candy Bar Racer. I've never actually been to Dylan's Candy Bar. But they have um, uh, Dylan's Candy Bar Erasers at Michael's. So I was able to get this one. This one was on clearance. And it's white on the back. It's a swirly candy, and if you spin it, it looks really cool. So there's that one. My next one is also a Dylan's Candy Bar Eraser. And I got this one uh, for my birthday two years ago. But out of this one and this one, this one's more of my favorite, so that's why I did that one first. Anyways, it's one of those candies with a polka dotted wrapper. And it's white on the back. It says Dylan's Candy Bar. And this is also for Michaels because fortunately I've never been to New York. Another Dylan's Candy Bar eraser, the chocolate bar. This one's by far one of the coolest. And plus, for some reason, it's really bendier than the others, if that's a word. Bendier. Yeah, I think it is. So look at that. It's a chocolate bar. Looks like you can eat it. And it's white on the back. It's a blue wrapper. And it says Dylan's Candy Bar with the logo. And another Dylan's Candy Bar eraser. But I promise this is the last one. It's a lollipop head. It's from Michael's, too. Michael's has a lot of Dylan's Candy Bar stuff, so go check it out, guys. Anyways, it's a lollipop eraser, and the stick was a pencil, so it's an eraser and pencil set, but I used the pencil, but not the eraser, because I collect it, and here it is. It's pretty big, but it's not that heavy. And it's really fun. It's a lollipop. Alrighty, the next one is this one. This one's just a simple french fry, but this french fry has a lot of meaning in it. I'm not going to go into the whole french fry story, but basically is my first eraser. Yeah. And it says potato on it. You can't see it on the camera, but it says potato because it's a french fry. And this is from Iwako, and you can take it apart. Next, we have a ninja. Isn't he cute? He has weird feet, though, to be honest. But it's a ninja, and it's from Uli. Nothing special about him. He's just a ninja. Yeah. Yeah. Alrighty. Next I have these three things. These are my Lucky Cat Erasers. They're from Iwako. And each color represents something. And brings good luck to you. So the red Lucky Cat brings good luck for your health. And the yellow Lucky Cat or the gold Lucky Cat brings good luck with wealth. And... The white lucky cat brings good luck with prosperity and happiness. And these ones are pencil toppers because they have holes on the bottom. But this one isn't, so they odd kitty out. No, just kidding. They're best friends. <laughs> Alrighty. Next and lastly for my most favorite erasers of my eraser collection is this one. It's pretty simple, but it comes in a cardboard box. That's why I love it so much, to be honest. It's just a cat lying down. But the detail is purely amazing. And I know good eraser when I spot it. It's flat on the back, though. But yeah, it comes in this box, and it's called a fur racer. I got this from one of my local stores. And those are my most favorite erasers from my eraser collection. As you guys can see, I have a ton. So we have a sushi, cactus, a weird soda pop. We have a ton, but those are my most favorite. And now I'm going to tell you some 
facts about erasers. So, John Priestley, the guy that discovered oxygen, also helped invent erasers. Like, the actual erasers, not the bread erasers, which, in case if you didn't know, bread used to be erasers. And, anyways, yeah, he also helped invent erasers, because when he was discovering oxygen, he discovered something that also could be made into erasers. So, I don't know. And then, most erasers contain volcanic ash. I don't know how that can happen, but it can. Nothing is impossible. And those are my two facts that I have for you. There's nothing, there's no other really super duper cool facts. I mean, erasers, they're super cool, but sometimes you can only find two really cool facts that you want to share with the world. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my racer collection. I couldn't show you all of it because that'd take forever. But uh, here, there's a soccer ball and a cake, a fish. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all that and learning some facts about erasers. I hope you celebrate National Rubber Eraser Day by maybe starting your own collection or sharing your erasers with a friend making them feel all happy and special. And I'd also like it if you subscribed and liked this video. So bye guys, knowledge is power.